church, of course, was originally a little manor chapel, but before that there was a Saxon cross outside around which the villagers worshipped. That cross, or part of it, is now in our own modern churchyard. But the little manor chapel was the original church and it was for the lords of the manor only until 1480 when the villagers were allowed to partake of the whole church and look after it. Since then it's been the parish church and it has grown in size. As you come in through the south doorway you see that it's a Norman, simple Norman arch showing it's 900 or so years old. The porch has stone seats which we believe the village elders used to sit in to discuss village matters times gone by. Above the porch is a little priest's room. At one time the church came under the aegis of the monks of Totnes and they would walk it the eight miles from Totnes and live in the little room there. They got a little window, a quatrefoil window, window looked out into the church proper and they could hold services in the church. Next to that little windy staircase going up to the priest's room is another doorway bricked in and that was the door through which the Lord of the Manor came because he lived in the mansion next door which is now a country hotel. Next to that, that is the font and that is also very old, the base of it certainly and we believe that one or two of the notables who lived in Greenway House uh, in Tudor times were baptised in the church here that they were the Gilbert family, they were famous explorers for Queen Elizabeth I. The house that the Gilberts lived in the Greenway was knocked down in 1790 and a Georgian house built there which is still there today and that of course was the house that Agatha Christie bought in the 1930s and she used to attend this church on, on occasion. I can't say that I knew her well just to say good morning to her. But it's the great east window that people come climbing to see. Well, the, the east window, as you see it, is a beautiful modern window in stained glass made by um, a gentleman from Biddeford in North Devon. Um, and he decided, according to Agatha Christie's special wishes, she found him um, herself and went to see his work in North Devon and was very impressed with it. So she arranged to have the window made with the permission of the diocese in an unusual pattern, namely uh, Jesus as the Good Shepherd, which uh, normally would have been a, a resurrection or a crucifixion scene above the altar, but this one is of a lovely um, scene with the Good Shepherd holding the sheep in the centre, and the whole beautiful uh, window was given uh, and dedicated in 1957 on July the 23rd by the Bishop of Exeter. This window is now very much uh, admired by people from all over the world who come to see it.